All right, another fun question here at the uh, Ask Mark inbox. And by the way, if you want to know how to do uh, one of these Ask Marks on my website, uh, blueglow.net, there's a section there called Ask Mark that'll walk you through the process. Mm -hmm. So this one today says, hello, Mr. Blue Glow. I wonder what is your point of view about solid state versus tube, rep tube rectification on power supplies? Uh, where to use one or another, advantages and disadvantages of each. Keep up the good work. Cheers. So really I think what they're asking here is, hey, you've got a tube amplifier. Should I use solid state rectification? Should I use uh, tube rectification in this uh, unit? Okay, I had a few of my own thoughts coming into this question uh, that I could have easily just kind of thrown off the top of my head. But, you know, in all fairness, I thought, you know, let me research this topic. So I spent about an hour and a half reading various articles, um, books, magazines. Uh, I talked to a friend or two that are somewhat known in the industry as tube experts. And the, the general consensus I kind of summed up here into this uh, little conclusion. So the short and narrow answer is there is no right answer. It's a little bit of a uh, Ford versus Chevy <laughs> type debate, but um, there are some pros and cons to each and we'll let people make their choices from there. So over here on the left, solid state, kind of the pros and cons here. Some of the pros, it is a much less expensive circuit. Um, diodes are way cheaper, even if you get really good, you know, high-end diodes, way cheaper than a, uh, especially like a good 5AR4 or a, uh, you know, GZ34. Um, and you also don't have to have the cost of the tube socket. Um, your power supply transformer you build doesn't have to have a five voltage, five volt winding on it. Um, so you got a couple different things there that uh, would make the cost less expensive. Up next here, I mentioned you got simpler circuitry. You don't have that five volt winding. You don't have to uh, feed the filaments of that. You don't have the whole tube circuit um, related to that. So a little simpler takes up a lot less space. Uh, it's less uh, space on the top of your chassis. You don't have to make room for that tube. Um, you can have the power supply all underneath the chassis, so it uh, uses less space, less holes to cut in your chassis as well. Uh, another big pro, you can use much bigger filter caps with a solid state power supply. Tube rectifiers, if you look up their data sheet, they will always have a value for the first capacitor following the rectifier tube. And it usually ranges anywhere from about 30 to 60 microfarads, and that's all you can put there. Then you could put a choke or a resistor, and then on the other side of that, you could put um, some more capacitance. But there's always a limit on what you can put right after. Solid state uh, power supplies do not have that. You can load this thing up with a couple, couple hundred microfarad capacitors in parallel, and uh, what that creates is a lot of reserve energy to feed this uh, tube amplifier when uh, it hits notes or uh, whatnot that would pull on the power supply to provide it more energy. Typically, the tube, uh, I mean, uh, the solid state will have a crisper, more dynamic, and responsive sound. So, a lot of people will call that more accurate. Um, so, it's kind of a uh, solid state, state sound, kind of in your face, accurate. Uh, maybe some people even say a little better, uh, cleaner headroom on these things. And then you kind of get into the cons here, which are, um, you know, which used to be a bigger issue than it is now. Switching noise actually coming from the diode switching. Um, you can use snubber caps, uh, some small poly caps across there to help cut, get cut out and get rid of some of that noise. Also, many of the new faster devices. So instead of a, using a 1N4007, you might use a UF4007, an ultra-fast device. Um, and it would help cut out some of this noise. And then there's a theory I read out there a little bit on something called cathode stripping. In other words, the power supply coming on very fast and heating up the uh, tubes in a very fast fashion. Uh, some people stated that could start to strip off some of your uh, cathode material and over time shorten the life of your tubes. Uh, a little bit debatable because I've heard other people say uh, they've never still really seen that play out in, uh, in effect. And then you come over here to the tube pros. Um, by the way, some of the cons for solid state become the, uh, I mean, the pros for solid state become the cons for tubes and the uh, cons for solid state become the pros for uh, tubes. So, so kind of, I didn't list 
uh, both of them on both sides, if that makes sense. So first and foremost here, uh, a pro for tubes, which would be a con for solid state, is slow voltage ramp up. Tubes warm up slowly as the filaments warm up, bringing the voltage to your power supply over several seconds instead of instantaneously. People say that's a little softer on the circuitry, certainly on the tubes in the unit, and uh, extends the life of your amplifier. Certainly, uh, one opinion that I, uh, that, that I had and that lots of others have is that tube rectification will certainly color the sound of your amplifier. Um, and I have to jump down here to the cons a little bit to talk about why, but it certainly will have a softer sound. Some people really like how that sounds on the mids, especially vocals. Um, so um, it, it colors the sound, and some people like that colored sound, so it's kind of what it is. Um, you certainly have the ability to roll tubes, so you could swap out a 5U4 with a 5V4 or a 5AR4 um, and change the voltage uh, based on that a little bit going to your, uh, to your uh, B+, which ultimately may change the sound of your amplifier. So some people like the ability to kind of roll tubes, which you don't get that opportunity. You don't really see people rolling solid state diodes. Uh, especially because you'd have to take the amplifier apart and unsolder them to do so. Um, nostalgia. Hey, you know, I've got a, a Dynaco SD70. It came with a GZ34. I want to put a GZ34 back in it. I don't want to put solid state anywhere in this amplifier. Might be somebody's point of view. That would personally be my point of view. I like to keep it original. And that's what I listed here next. Keep it all vintage. Keep it all tube. If you're building a tube amplifier, build a tube amplifier. If you're building a solid state amplifier, build a solid state amplifier. Mixing those two, some people are cool with it, other people not. That's personal preference. Some of the cons on the uh, tubes, certainly you have what is called voltage sag. So um, because you don't have as much capacitance there on the uh, power supply, um, as you hit uh, heavy bass notes, um, your power supply will not respond as fast as a solid state one would to supply energy to the output tubes. So some people say that gives it a tube sound and really like that, especially guitar players. Um, some people, because that kind of plays into the whole distortion sound. Um, others call it mushy bass. Hey, really like the sound of this tube amplifier, other than it's kind of got mushy bass. I've even seen speakers by amped where they use a solid state amp in the uh, bottom end for the woofer and they used a tube amplifier in the midsection and the highs just for that purpose. And some people say here, like I mentioned, it will um, soften the mids and vocals and uh, just give you a more uh, kind of a softer, more warming sound to your, uh, to your audio. And then um, you certainly have a higher impedance power supply with a tube, um, which ultimately mean, means you will have lower voltage output uh, from the same given uh, power transformer. So you could build an, a, uh, a power supply and use a, let's say, a 700 volt center tapped um, transformer. Um, you might get 40, 50 volts more out of a solid state rectified unit than you would out of the tube uh, rectified uh, power supply. So, which ultimately equates to more power, more B plus, which uh, if your tubes can handle it, uh, more power output on the uh, on the other side of the uh, going to your speakers. So, like I said, there is no right or wrong here. There is just which sound you like better. I'm thinking about throwing up a survey um, that would basically uh, let you vote on this uh, single-ended amplifier I'm about to build on whether we would put in a solid-state power supply or a uh, a tube power supply. I may do that this weekend. If so, keep an eye out on my website and uh, I'll post that link up there. So it's kind of my thoughts on this topic. Uh, you can take it for what it's worth.